The race season is fast approaching. Many of the top riders are out in warmer climates doing training camps. So let's take a look at the riders to look out for in 2019. And let's start this off with the riders who are almost certain to perform. Yolanda Neff, she won the overall last year, has won pretty much everything in the off season, including some big cyclocross races. She's on that Trek team this year, and it'd be silly not to think that Yolanda Neff is going to 2019 with complete confidence. In the men's, we saw Matthew Vanderpool uh, win lots of stuff last year. He's actually just won the World C uh, Cyclocross Championships, and he's got potential to be a massive mountain bike superstar. He's got great versatility, of course, being competitive in cross-country marathon, road, and cyclocross. He's definitely made some waves with his numerous World Cup podiums in 2018 and got the bronze medal at the Worlds, and he isn't looking to slow down into 2019. Every year, Emily Batty gets closer and closer to her first win. Taking third overall in 2018 was testament to her consistency throughout the year. But with young gun Kate Courtney's world's win, she's got even more competition this year. Nino Schurter is, of course, a favourite going into the season wearing those rainbow stripes again. But Gerhard Kirschbaum was one of very few people to beat Mr. Schurter last year. And that's enough reason to keep an eye out for him in 2019 and hopefully can put up even more pressure onto Nino. Maxi Marat, another big name, uh, he was super consistent last year and that gave him the top three overall. But he's going to have to step it up to be a real threat for the top spot. He's got the pace, but to win you really need that extra drive. Right now on to some wild cards. Anna van der Breggen uh, is a road world champion and Olympic gold medalist, but winning in one discipline isn't enough it seems. She's entered uh, one World Cup last year, but is looking to do even more mountain bike races and is even pairing up with Annika Langvad to race at ABSA Cape Epic in South Africa. Langvad actually won the Cape Epic last year with the now world champion Kate Courtney, so she's now no doubt looking to repeat that performance. It'll be interesting to see if Anna van der Breggen can step it up. Now on to the young guns. Now it may seem that Kate has secured her place at the top of the contenders, but she's still super young. Last year was Kate Courtney's first year in Elite, and she steadily climbed up results, finishing the year in the best position possible as world champion. The sky's the limit for Kate, it seems. She's still quite young and the competition is fierce. And of course, she's joining Nino Schurter on that Scott team this year. It's a double rainbow stripes on that team. 2018 was the Junior World Champs' first year racing in Elite, and he took the very first win of the year in Stellenbosch. The rest of the year wasn't quite up to the same standards, but another win on the short tracker, Monte Anne, shows he's not a one hit wonder. Given some time, he'll definitely be fighting for more podiums. Another young gun on BMC is Titwan Caro. We saw how fast he was when he absolutely smashed me on the short track. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. The link is in the description. But that's not necessarily a great indication on how he's gonna do the World Cups, of course. But he did get a couple of World Cup podiums and ended the season in the top 10 last year. And that's just his second year in elites. He's definitely someone to challenge Nino for the top spot in the near future. Anton Cooper has the pace and capability to take the top spot, but being young also means he doesn't quite have the same experience as those veterans cross country. He's got the spirit, but he'll need to step it up this year in order to make more than one podium like he got in 2018. What about riders coming back from injuries? Well, Pauline Ferran Provo, she just had surgery and has just got back on the bike. Look out for in the second half of the season. She's a former world champ on the road, cross country and cyclocross. For that video where Titon Caro absolutely smokes me, click over there. It was a lot of fun and it was great to see how fast he was. And if you want to see the downhill races to look out for in 2019, over there, thumbs up if you're looking forward to the cross country race season starting and hit that sub button.